Hi guys, this is Lavender Town's Ghost, and welcome back to Orspa Nostalgia. Last episode, we uh, did a little bit, mostly boss killing. Uh, we got a lovely texture, Rosie, and between episodes, I managed to fix the fact that she wasn't move ma moving. Her speed, her her internal um, data speed was set to zero, so she could not move. But now she can move, and she can follow us, so that's great. Um, also, my neighbors are once again playing really loud music, so I'm hoping you can't hear that. Um, but yeah, it is October, which means I have a spooky skin! Wait here, let me, if I go into, nope, wrong button. There you go, like you can see it a little bit better here. Oh, wait, can I, there we go, up close. So I use, uh, I used, um, custom player model to make cool spider legs. Uh, I wanted to have a second pair, like, under my arms, I'm gesturing on my real body, uh, coming out from, like, my side or, like, the back. I have another pair, but I couldn't get it to look right, so just pretend I have four, three pairs of arms and a pair of legs. You know, that's how spiders work, right? Um, but yeah, the red dots under the eyes are supposed to be, like, extra eyes. Pretend there's another pair of dots underneath my hair, so I have, uh, eight eyes. Uh, and it's really hard to see on my skin because it's I'm very pale, but I have fangs coming out from beneath my mouth. Or petty palps, you know, your choice. Anyway, because I want to look like a spider because it's Halloween and spiders are very, very cool. Anyway, um, what I plan on doing this episode... Oh, first, let me show you some stuff I did a little bit between episodes. First is I just put another duplicator tree up here because I wanted to spawn... This episode we're going to spawn and fight Mobzilla. And I was searching and searching, and I could not find any more mob parts. So I went ahead and duplicated the two I had. I know I said I wasn't going to do it for, like, materials and stuff, but for the Mobzilla spawn parts, I'm like, uh, I guess, just because it's going to take me forever to find them. Um, but yeah, so what else I did is down here, I said I was going to... Uh, work on this, getting the farm, our duplicator farm set up for the uh, building stuff. And it's finished, so first let me show you over here is the stuff I had to make to make this work. So basically what we needed is these, I uh, can't spell words, these block breakers, or these auto breakers. So I had the cobblestone, um, the void crystal, and, I, the, and the redstonia crystals and the black quartz I had to make. The black quartz, I could just smelt the ore. Uh, but the redstonia crystals and the void crystals, I needed to make this, which is a atomic reconstructor. And basically, when I flick this lever, it's going to shoot out a beam here. And anything I have there... Um, it reconstructs, so redstonia crystals are redstone, void crystals are coal, so I had plenty of those already, so I just needed to do that. And then this is the ender generator I made that powers this. And for this, I can just throw in an eye of ender, and it powers it pretty well. I think this is powered with just one eye of ender, so that wasn't too bad. But in order to make the ender generator, I had to... I needed to make a transfer node. To make a transfer node, you see how the background here is greenish, I needed to make a QED. I forget what that stands for. Um, but basically, it's a crafting table that uses uh, Enderflux, or not Enderflux, Ender, something along those lines. Um, but we had Enderflux, yeah, I was right. We had a bunch of these Enderflux crystals from the um, brain, brain chance cubes. Chance, I forget if they were chance cube drops or chance isohedra drops, but we had a whole bunch of these. So we could use those to power this, uh, yeah, and make that node to make this, to make these. And so basically, let me show you down here the uh, underside of it. I need, to, I, can, I need to make it a little bit more efficient, uh, but basically, like I said, each of these up here will break a block when it's above it. So as soon as the tree duplicates a block, it's going to break it. It goes into here, and then it immediately starts looking along these pipes for the nearest um, location. Not location. Chest. Inventory. That's what we're looking for. It starts looking for the nearest inventory. So that's why instead of just having them all go up to here, because it takes them a little bit to search, 
So I figured having an inventory next to each square would make it go a bit faster. So it looks for an inventory, it finds it, it puts them in here, and then it pulls them into here. And then the only inventory it has access to is the next one here. I need to lower these one these chests one more and just have the transfer node on the front. Because I think, I'm not certain, but I think it could try and go back and forth. Whoop. I think it could just try and go back and forth between this pipe, which... I mean, that's not going to affect the efficiency of the farm itself. It just means it's going to take longer to get into here. I'm already getting a decent amount, um, but I'm going to need a lot. Because I don't know did I don't know if I mentioned the scale of, like, how much I want to... Uh... Hey, Rosie. All right, I'm going to have you stay here for one second, Rosie. I don't know if I ever mentioned the scale of how much I want to cover in the... Uh the white clay, white terracotta for our um, Grand Prismatic project. Because like I said, we're going to have, this up here is going to be Grand Prismatic, Grand Prismatic, Grand Prismatic. And um, so yeah, up here is going to be Grand Prismatic. And then we're going to have a hill sloping down. I kind of want the hill to include this entire valley that we have right here. Because like most like over here, probably honestly, past here a little bit and like down into here and like around encompassing that probably like blending into the hill over here and like over the hill over here probably reaching over that mountain I'm thinking I don't know for sure or like sloping down to like meld into the mountain here but yeah we're gonna need a lot of white terracotta for that because I mean I'm not gonna fill it all in obviously but even just outlining that's gonna be a lot so that's why I'm using the duplicator for that. But anyway, like I said, this episode we are going to go fight Mobzilla. So let us get that all put together. Hi, Rosie. And there we go. Something else I wanted to mention before I forget. Going, when I was fixing Rosie this between this last episode and the episode before when she wasn't underneath our data or our player tag, there is a tag for invulnerable for just making her immortal and this is something i know i don't have like any comments on any of my videos but this is one thing i really 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 want you to let me know do you want me to put that invulnerable tag on rosie because the point of giving her the ultimate armor is she is functionally invulnerable with the um the the, 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 the ultimate armor because you know it that plus her the natural defense that the uh that the mod gives her makes her functionally immortal but there are still a few things that can pierce through armor and you know for me obviously those are a threat and that makes sense but for rosie the whole point is for her to be invulnerable so should i turn on that tag please 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 let me know um but anyway, I need a bucket of water. I don't have a bucket of water, so I just need a bucket. Oh, first I need to turn these into a spawn. Jerry, why are you like this? Stop drowning. All right, let us get some water get back up here and actually I can do this right in here okay I'm not gonna gonna not click on that by accident I'm not gonna spawn Mobzilla near us Rosie come here I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this in a different dimension what dimension is gonna be the best to kill Mobzilla Let's do the mining dimension, because I think that's where you can sometimes find Mopsilla in the wild. Yep. So let's find a nice area. Do we have like a nice, I mean, there's no real flat areas in here, but there's like a nice little valley over here we'll go. And Rosie's going to fight with us. I think like, yeah, right, right here seems good. All right, so I'm gonna put Rosie down. And all right, we're all good. I 
do okay i'm gonna reset the skills i am gonna give her just one thing of regeneration just because i don't think i don't think she's gonna take damage but just just in case i'm gonna keep this on my offhand just in case also but in all my tests um they were basically immortal when fighting Mobzilla, even though Mobzilla does a heck of a lot of damage and a lot of fire. But yeah, we have Big Bertha. Oh, I forgot the dragonflies sound like planes. We have Big Bertha. We should be good. Rosie has the ultimate sword. You just have the ultimate sword, right? Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. Okay. Let's. You do. Okay, you do still have the. <laughs> okay, I might give her one more level of regen just so that way it's not a. <laughs> okay, one sec. I'm gonna give her two levels of regen just so it's not a bunch of nines. Alright, let us fight Mobzilla! God, those are very loud. What is that? You know, the. Mobs aren't even under the right tag. Let's go. Jeez. Hi there, you. So, with Mobzilla, his hip. Jeez. Ow. His hitbox is, uh, very annoying. <laughs> Rosie is just getting knocked off into the distance. Right here, Rosie. Come back. I couldn't be found. Oh, come on. Where is she? She just got flung over here somewhere. There she is. Oh, Rosie. Hey, she didn't take any damage. Okay, let's fix that. What are you on? You're on aid? Okay. <laughs> Ow. Oh, God. Okay. I need to remember to land on the ground so she can teleport to us. Okay, so Mobzilla is... I'm going to have to lower the volume on this so much. Let me lower my volume. Okay, so Mobzilla is very annoying because his hitbox is not where you expect it to be. Oh, I forgot that he regens. I can't even see... Where is your hit... Oh, you don't have a hit bar. It's like you have to hit under his neck? I don't even think Rosie can hit him to do damage. Because... I don't know if you can hit his feet. Can you hit his feet? I don't even think you can get close enough to hit his feet. I feel like poor Rosie isn't going to be able to help us that much. But she's trying her best. But yeah, if I turn on... Oh, God. Oh, there. I saw his hitbox for... I saw his thing for a second. Stop regening. Stop regening. <laughs> so, yeah, this is going to be an interesting fight. Come on, focus on me. I'm gonna hit you. Oh, why is a Mothra here? I killed it, it's fine. <laughs> well, I'm inside you, why aren't I hitting you? You stupid. Okay, I'm turning on hitboxes. I forgot that for some reason it floats a giant hitbox in front of my head. But yeah, his hitbox is like... Where? Like, where am I supposed to hit you? Why did I just get an achievement? How you doing, Rosie? Full points, let's go. I think does that skeleton hit me? Alright, let's let's keep going. Like what is is that? That's not his hitbox, right? What is that hitbox meant to be? It's bouncing off. Is that wait? Is that his head hitbox? Why is it so far away from his body? Like can I I can't even <laughs> Why? 
Hello? Wait. This is a side thing now. I'm just realizing about Big Bertha. Is it launching projectiles? Wait, is that how it tracks the distance? Of like, it makes a projectile. I guess a temporary projectile and launches it. Oh, that's really interesting. Where is your head? Like, your head isn't here. Where, where do I hate you? Getting too hasty. Game? Game, you good? You wanna load me into existence? I forgot that I'm gonna get stuck here. I have no way to get back. I didn't even think about that. I have to turn into an Ender Reaper. Hi, Rosie. How are you doing? You're uh, you're perfectly fine, aren't you? Yep. How far away am I? Okay, not very far. Oh, I gotta try and get my stuff back. Oh no! I hope he doesn't break my gravestone. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and murder a few cows really quick, or a few sheep really quick. Um, and make a bed just around the corner here so that way if slash when I die again I don't have to fly back all this distance because we are right around the corner from him now took me a lot longer to get back than I thought all right let us where is he yeah, he's... Let me go on top of this hill. Yeah, he's right over there where all that dead, dead stuff is. So we'll go ahead and make our bed here. Thank you, 1.7, for not having colored beds. Oh, I'm in morph. I think I have to... Can I set spawn if it's not nighttime in this? What time is it? The sun is setting. Okay, I'm gonna wait a little bit just until I can make sure that I uh, I set my spawn. All right, I have successfully slept. I killed a couple of a uh, deer just to get a little bit of food. Let's go. Okay, maybe he's gone far enough away. Oh no, he's 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 camping it. He's camping our grave. Yep, there he goes. Oh, because that's our grave right here, I think. Oh no, he did break it. Oh god. Oh god. Nope, 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 nope. Oh god, if any of our stuff is on the ground, it's gone. No, I don't want to have to remake Big Bertha. Okay, there's some stuff over here. Please, give me Big Bertha. Okay, I got Big Bertha. It's fine. It's fine. Our stuff is back in a gravestone. 
Oh, this is gonna be... Okay, we had Big Bertha, so Big Bertha is back in the grave zone. If I can maybe lure him over here... Oh, but he's like trapped in that little valley, I think. Okay, can I... Come on, come up here, buddy. If I can get him over here away from my stuff and then fly back really fast. Come on, focus on me. Yep, this way, come on. Come on, I'm trying to get him away. Yeah, look at me. Look at me, buddy. Ah! That's fine, this is, okay. Now, hopefully while he's still looking over there, I can get back to our stuff really fast. Oh, okay, if I go high enough. Okay, he broke our grave, that's expected. Nothing else on the ground. Alright, go, 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 go. Why is there a blaze rod? Okay, we have Big Bertha. We don't have our pants. We don't... Okay, we have the ultimate bow. We have our food. That's good, at least. Alright, he probably has regenerated so much health. Let's see. Is, is there any... Is there any point to keep... Is there any chance to keep fighting him? Or is he, like, fully regenerated? Hello? Excuse me, what was that? I didn't even see if our golden bag was there. I didn't even think about that. Oh no. Why? Oh, this is way worse than I thought. I didn't even see if we had the bag. If we don't have the golden bag of holding, we, lot, we have nothing. All of our stuff was in there. Like, our way to get back home was in there. Oh, and he's destroying a whole bunch now. Okay, I'm gonna try to lead him away again. Come on, buddy. Oh, please don't be just destroying my stuff. Okay, there's my stuff. Oh no, I don't see the bag. I don't see the bag. I didn't see the bag there. I did do a backup of this world, just in case. But... Oh no. Go, 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 go. Okay, there was some stuff up there. Yeah! What am I supposed to do? I have to lead him away. I just have to continuously lead him further and further away. That's my only hope is to lead him really far away. Why do I keep turning red? Alright, come on buddy. We're gonna lead you really far away from my stuff. The issue is he's... The issue is he can do that. Like, that that's our issue, is he can hit me from really far away, and he's not going to follow me, because he as soon as... As soon as he stops, as soon as I die, he's just going to focus on something else. Yeah, like, he can just hit me from lightning from really far away. Okay, he's moving a little bit, though. Come on. Come on, buddy. Yep, come on. I'm sorry, Rosie. I'm using you as bait. Okay, come on. Rosie, get out of the fire. Come on. He's just standing there. Come on, buddy. Yep. Come on. You can do a jump. There we go. Get further away from my stuff. I 
just to keep track of time, because if I take longer than five minutes, it's all gonna despawn. Come on. Right over here. Come on, buddy. Oh, nope, don't go. Actually, yeah, I guess you can go that way, sure. It's just as long as you're staying away from my stuff. Come on. Okay, I think he's far enough away. I'm going to tactically let him kill me. So that way I can approach him from... Go get at my stuff from this angle without looping him back around. I don't think it's been five minutes since my first death, maybe. But hopefully him stomping around over here... Okay, that's... None of that's my stuff. Oh no. Okay, there's some of my stuff. There's a bit more. Ah! Oh, uh, I don't have the golden bag of holding. Or big, okay, I have Big Bertha at least. I'll have to see what was in the golden bag of holding. That's like a really big loss, but I think that's a goner if I, if I do. This will just help me see a little bit. Oh, I don't have the angel ring. That sucks. Don't. I have actual fire. That's cool. Actually, it's a really good thing I have the mob cage so I can take Rosie back with me. Okay, this can go away. Oh, yeah, he's coming back. Ah Was there anything else up here on this hill? Oh, God, he's coming. Try to see if there's anything else of my stuff over here. These are just broken blocks. Ah, he's getting real close. Alright, I think I'm just gonna have to find a uh, a termite. Not termite, um No, yeah, no, that's my stuff. I, I don't want to get stuck in this death loop again. I think that's everything. That's all I'm going to be able to get. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. I'm going to have to go back and see everything I lost. I'm going to have to remake the angel ring. Uh, no, that's just the crystal ant dimension. I think red ant is what I'm looking for. Let me find a red ant. Rainbow ant. ant. I guess actually I can do brown ant just because it's a little bit safer. And then find another brown ant. Oh, that really sucks. I lost all my golden apples, but I think I have some left back in the... Uh, I... Oh, what? Rosie came with me? Okay, I'm gonna put you in this for now. I didn't think she would come with me. Alright, let me find another brown ant nest. And then we're gonna have to run home, probably. A very... No, that's a red ant. That'll take me back to hell. Where is brown ant? Oh, actually... Another portal might be the way to go. Oh! Nope, 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 nope. Why is that? Oh, why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Where? What? Wait. Bruh! It was so. There's a queen so close to where I spawned, I just didn't go diagonally. Oh, that's fun. 
that's real fun. We're going to go in the opposite direction. I'm not fighting the final boss of Ore Spawn right now. <sighs> At least that showed us that uh, Rosie's armor is uh, is pretty decent. I have no food. I have some raw beef. All right, let me find an ant nest. All right, I found some brown ants. Let's go home. I'm going to have to look at my other world. Oh, God, how far away from home. Okay, not that far away. I'm going to have to see. I have to replace so much stuff. I lost the pickaxe. I think I saw it for a glimpse at one point, and then he murdered me. Oh, I lost so much. I'm trying to think what else was in our... Uh... I mean, I can... I have enough... In um... Words are hard. Uh, I can't remember. I have enough uh, titanium and uranium to repair. To, like, make more armor and stuff. So I'm not super sad about that. Here, have have some have some duckweed. Oh god. Alright, hi Rosie. Things did not go well. I guess I'll put the fire. Oh, I mean I guess I turn I can't even really turn back into me because I still need to make the uh the angel ring and stuff. I there's so much stuff I need to fix. Ah, all right, let's, I guess I'll put that off to the side. Toss the fire in there. That's something cool. Oh, and I guess we do this for Rosie. Okay, she's still fine. She has a point to spin. Do more damage. All right, um, because uh, I know we have, we do have a golden bag of holding. So, I mean, we can just start tossing our stuff in there. I need a pickaxe, I need new armor, I need... I mean, I have golden apples still, I have... Um, oh god, I hit the wrong button. I don't know what just happened there. Uh, steak. I, oh god, I don't have as much as I want though. I'll probably breed the cows for a little bit between the episodes here. Oh, there's so much I need to get. All right. I'm going to... Um, okay, I can make stable stuff for the ingots, right? I can make semi-stable nuggets, right? Gold nugget, division sigil diamond. I have plenty of gold nuggets, plenty of diamonds. I have... Division sigils. Let me just make these really quick. How many of these do I need for an ingot? I need nine. How many do I need for angel wings? Two. I need 18. Alright, um, gold and what is it? Oh, do I have another star? I do have another star, okay. Glass, okay. Let's do these really quick just so that way I have. Wait, no. So I have the angel wings, which are like the most important part. those okay got angel wings into the bobble slot with you all right i'm gonna end the episode here between episodes i'll try to see everything that we lost oh we lost our silk touch pickaxe we lost our right our other ultimate sword we lost maramasa 
No, we lost Muramasa. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, that's probably the saddest thing. Muramasa. Even though we don't use Muramasa. Oh. Jerry, get out of the water. Alright, I'm going to end the episode here and try to get back some of what I lost or re remake it. I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.